Jesus said, Go you therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even till the end of the world. That's in Matthew 8, uh, 28, 19 through 20. It is an obedience to that command that we baptize today. There is no magic in the water. Um, it does, the water doesn't take away the sins. Only the blood of Christ can do that. Amen. The significance of baptism is in what it symbolizes. Death, burial, and resurrection. Before a person becomes a Christian, he or she is dead in sin. When a person is dead, they're buried. The water represents a grave. As a person is lowered into the water, it symbolizes that they are being buried. A person who becomes a Christian receives new life from Christ. The person being lifted up out of the water symbolizes being raised to walk in newness of life. Baptism then is a way of proclaiming to the world what happens to us when we become followers of Christ. Baptism is a divine drama of Galatians 2.20. It says, For I have been crucified, for I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live <coughs> in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. If we, are going to, uh, if we are going to win this generation to Jesus Christ, we too must die with Him and be raised again, following Him to the cross every day. You, you can take them off. Okay. Come on down. <laughs> I want you to turn around and I want you to sit right down right there. Face you. Now this is Jennifer. Jennifer's been hanging around here for quite a few years actually. And uh, she's uh, come in and, and you know, uh, uh, she's like the rest of us. She's had some problems in her life. And, and uh, But Jennifer, um, you've received the Christ as your Savior, right? Yes. And then when you asked him, did he come into your heart? Oh, yeah. He Amen. came in before man. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So it's, uh, it's on your testimony that we're going to baptize you today that your testimony is in Christ. Okay? Let me pray for you. Father God, we just pray for Jennifer right now, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that this act of obedience today will be one of many. Lord, we indeed baptize with water, but Lord, there is one mightier than we are here today. And you baptize with the Holy Ghost, O Lord God. And Lord, I just pray, Father God, that Lord, that you would anoint this young lady, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you would empower this young lady. I pray that you'd strengthen her with might by your spirit in the inner man, Lord God. And Lord, I thank you, Father, for this act of obedience today and this testimony of death, burial, and resurrection. I pray in Jesus' name. And your church said, Amen. 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 Jennifer, it's on the profession of your faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord, that I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, buried with him in baptism, but raised to walk a new life. Amen. You gotta get out. Yeah. <laughs> right. And we uh, we praise God that uh, a lot of her friends and family are here uh, today from Fallon and uh, witnessing uh, this uh, baptism. And this is a testimony to them of death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. Amen. Amen.